Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this episode, uh, we're trying to make an application, a task tracker, wherein when you put, let's say, the employee ID here, it will automatically fill this column. Okay? So I have, I have here two table which is I have the employee details which is uh, their employee ID first name last name phone and email and here is the sta the task tracker so when I create a task and it's assigned to which employee in my app editor so I have two columns employee details and the row key is the employee ID, the unique ID, and it and the label is employee ID also. And I have the task tracker form, which is the task ID is the row key, and also its label. And there is a formula for that, so it's automatically generate a unique ID. You can also customize yours by using concatenate formula. Okay. So in order to do that, when I fill the details here, it's copy all the information. Okay. So let's go to our editor. Let's go to our task form. So here, the employee ID is the row key for employee details that's the unique uh, column okay so what we're gonna do is this employee id will keep it as a ref then choose the table source table employee details so the row key i mean the label as you can see make sure the label is the employee id also if you if you put the label name uh, what will happen is when you go to your drop down here it will show the name this time I want the ID number only okay so now it's showing so it's still not uh, auto fill the column here so in order to do that let's continue first name so you have to use the formula guys which is initial value so i paste this formula so you need to use this select or any you can put you can you can remove the any it's fine so you can also go select employee details which is the table name choose the first name this row employee id is equals to employee id of the employee details then you click save okay then the last name same in auto compute initial value you paste the first formula and change only the column name his last name click save then next we have the phone so phone oops sorry 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 guys uh, back okay sorry not here task form so here first name okay you go here so in the task form table okay then last name change this one
click save then pawn initial value you need just to change the Do you, uh, you can tell if the formula is correct if you see like a check green check okay then email Okay. then save now let's try let's uh, refresh the app okay let's um, make a new task let's say follow up okay expected to finish end of this month for example employee id let's say 1994 so now it's auto um, fill the data here okay so that's how you you do the auto fill the data in your column then also you can what you can do see you can edit so i mean you can edit and you can delete in order to avoid that what you're gonna do guys is you go back to your task table so you can go here in the first name okay the first name you can select let's say you can put a formula in editable update behavior okay so you can edit if this is blank okay is okay. is blank so if this if the column is blank you can edit okay so let's apply this Okay. All right, let's try if we can uh, still edit this data. okay okay example okay so here guys you cannot edit see but if you change it it's changed so you cannot edit the data okay thank you so much for watching and uh, if you have any question just comment at the comment section and subscribe to my channel for more videos see you